Hi, and thanks for joining me today. So this is um, another Crafter's Companion birthday week purchase. This was actually their Papercraft party bag, and I paid um, just under $31 after my uh, Club Inspire discount. So I think there's a lot here that makes it great value for money, and um, if nothing else, the Craft Magazine pretty much, you know, uh, is nearly, you know, the, the value of what I paid. So, um, so that in and of itself makes this pretty well worth it, but here's what all came. And what I really liked about how they did, um, the, um, show for this was they kind of showed you an idea for what you're going to get. And so you, sort of know that you're gonna get things like this, like soft embellishments. Um, so this is, both of these are from the Crafty Fun collection and this is blue pom-pom trim and this is cotton ribbon. And there's like four different styles of ribbon. Um, so I think these are really fun. I don't generally work with um, soft embellishments like these and so I think that will be really fun for me to kind of exercise and that design aesthetic and kind of work outside my uh, comfort zone a little bit because I definitely know uh, some people who I think would really enjoy this look uh, maybe on a mini album cover I don't know so I'm, I'm excited to figure out a way to use it um, to use both of these in fact so that's kind of nice and um, they did say everybody was going to get a set of pokey tools so that's um a really good thing to have in your craft room. This is the fancy butterflies from the Lily collection and you get two butterfly dies. Uh, yeah, so it's just gonna be that um, cut out here so you don't get the shadow layer um, die with it. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Um, oh, and they're small. So this is not full size. They are about an inch, does it say? Um, yeah, it's about an inch and a half maybe. So not not these nice large ones, but kind of rather small, but still pretty cute. Um, so there's that set. This is also from the Crafty Fun Collection. This is a stencil, six by six, and it's um, made with love. And I think they previewed. I like that they, again, you know, kind of gave you a preview of what you were gonna get, even if things might be um, not exactly. So they did say we would get a paper pad, a six by six paper pad, and this one's from the Crafty Fun collection. So there's already quite a few things that are from the same collection, which is always really nice, especially um, you know the color coordinated stuff. So um, so that's really nice, and I can always use paper. This is single sided. Feels like it's maybe the same weight as um, what comes in the kits. So this is 180 GSM. I mean, it feels like it might be a little bit thicker than what comes in the kits, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same. Um, but there's that. So here's a stamp set, 11 piece Hip Hip Hooray. Um, kind of fun, love little um, fun decorative celebratory type things. So the bunting, um, it does not come with the coordinating dies though, so I don't know that I'll keep this just because I, for stuff like this, I like to have coordinated dies to um, cut these out and add them as embellishments onto my card, and so I'm not... I'm not the best fussy cutter, so I don't know that I'll keep this, although these shapes are pretty easy to, um, to fussy cut, it, it looks. Uh, so mm, this is a little bit of a hit or miss. I think it's a really cute stamp set. It's just uh, what I really appreciate appreciate about Crafters Companion is that a lot of their um, products or a lot of their collections are bundled together where you have the stamp and the die and I always really appreciate that as opposed to having to buy them separately or um, just buy one or the other. So who knows, I might keep this and use it or it might find its way into a giveaway bag. Um, this one's really pretty. This is English Rose. I think it's uh, what they call outline die and it's really a nice size 3.6 by 5.1 inches and this looks like it would be really fun to paper piece back in um, so you could probably do that you could 
die cut this um, and have that sort of outline and then use that as a stencil even. So I think that would be really fun. A lot of different ways I think this could be used and because it's so large it can actually really stand on its own as a focal image on your card and all you would need to add is a sentiment kind of like what they've done there. So I, I like that one. Then this is a double-sided die set. It's pretty posy and there's two double-sided dies. So I've never used their double-sided dies before. So, um, and I don't have their Gemini machine. And so I'll have to experiment a little with what sandwich um, to use in my cuddle bug. Or uh, I do also have the large platform um, Spellbinders Platinum machine. And so, I'll, I'll play around with it, but this looks really interesting because between the two dies, you're going to get four different die cuts, and then it looks like you layer them all up together to um, to get this look. And it's a 3 by 4 square um, flower spray or arrangement that you get, which um, is a nice decent size, so, so this will be fun to work with. I'll um, play with this and see if double-sided dies how how well they cut and just like a cuddle bug hopefully hopefully they cut out well and um if they do that would be great because i know that crafter's companion is the only one that does these double-sided dies and um and maybe i always see bundled deals and clearance sales for um double-sided dies but never purchase them just because i don't know whether it would work in my machine. So it's kind of nice to get one in a mystery bag so I can actually try it out before I spend money on one that I really want. <laughs> this one is a duplicate for me. So they did have a bundle offer, I think, on a set of these. And these are really fun sentiments. So you get the die that will cut out that main um, sentiment. And I kind of like that it's sort of this um, sort of cascading uh, sentiment that's actually vertical and so you get the stamp form of wishes but then you also get the die that will cut it out as well and additional words to complete the the thought so you have best wishes birthday wishes um warm wishes you know best wishes to you so a lot of different you know ways to mix and match that. I don't I don't have the uh, floral stamp sets that they um, sell separately so that you can create that sort of floral cascady background but I think there's just uh, so much um, versatility and use in, in just your basic sentiments and these are a little bit different from anything that I have because they they are in this sort of cascady format which I think is a little different a little bit nice and it's a nice large size too it's almost two by three and so um, that really kind of can make a bold you know sentiment as your focal point. Then this is an embossing folder, and I think it's just a standard 2D one, and it's called Christmas Centerpiece. It is a um, large one, so I'm guessing five by seven. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. Um, I don't, I don't know that I'll use it, but um, but it is nice. So there's the there's the design. Um, so we'll see. I don't have a lot of wreath style embossing folders. So I may keep it, we'll see, um, but it may also make its way into a giveaway. Not 100% sure on that one yet. Um, then there's this. This is a large uh, stamp set. It's Floral Arrangements. And um, I mean, it looks like a lot of different silhouette stamps that you're you know put together to kind of create a floral arrangement as the name would suggest in this vase but so I don't know if these are meant to be layered I don't think they are because they're different sizes uh, or maybe they are because this looks like it would fit in the center of these yeah I don't know uh, with that does this fit in the center of these I don't think they're your standard layered stamp sets um, I might look up to see how they use these just to get some 
design inspiration before I actually open this one up to use. Um, because again, it is just the stamp set. And so, um, you know, this, though, unlike the other one, I could totally see using this just to create your own backgrounds. And, you know, you can almost create your own pattern paper with some of these stamps because you've got the little um, sprigs and little um, leaves and sprays and single, you know, flowers. And so this could definitely be used um, just to create a really pretty background, even if you don't actually make a, a floral arrangement with it. So I may keep it to use that way, but I would definitely be curious to see how they use these stamps if they're meant to be layered, um, which it kind of doesn't seem like it, but I don't know. Or if, you know, um, they're, because you don't even get, with these, you don't even get the stem on the flower. So yeah, I'm just really curious how you use these. <laughs> um, so I'll uh, look that up, look that up. But it does look like you get three different center style, you know, stamen or, you know, the flower centers. Like this could be um, the inside of a sunflower, for example. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it and use it or it'll make its way into a giveaway. But before I decide, I'm hoping to find some um, inspiration on how to use that. That's the nice thing about Crafter's Companion, too, is they generally have... Um, videos and master classes on all the various um, product lines that they have. So um, this paper craft party bag also came with the Crafters Inspiration magazine kit and this was issue number 26 and these are always really fun. I um, have gotten a couple of the Tonic Studio magazine kits um, which are kind of similar in that you know they include a magazine with a lot of different um, inspiration for how to use the uh, freebies that come in the magazine kit and as well with the uh, crafters companion one anyways you get um, just kind of introductions into other product lines that they have and so you can always check out um, you know some of the other things that that you can purchase from their website or I actually get a lot of stuff from either their website directly or sometimes from Craftstash because I think Craftstash has just everyday really good pricing. Um, Crafters Companion itself is really great especially when they're running these sort of promotions like their birthday deals or Black Friday deals or a bundled offer because you really you cannot beat their prices on um, like the full collection bundled deals, especially with your Club Inspired discount after that. So, um, so really, really great um, offers. But if you don't want like a full collection and you just want, you know, one or two items and you don't want to wait for a sale, I think Craft Stash is a really great place to um, purchase a lot of these UK brands like um, Crafters Companion and Tonic Studios. So um, the other thing that comes in the magazine kit, and this is, again is similar to the Tonic ones, is you get some paper. These are A4 size. They are double sided and it's not magazine paper so it's it's you know good layering weight paper and um, what's cool is that so it looks like, is it on every page? I don't know if it's on every page, but it looks like you get, if you want to fussy cut some of these things out, you get these different elements that you can cut out. They aren't pre-die cut for you. Um, and the reason is so that if you did not want to use these elements, you could always just use the, the other, the pattern on the opposite side. However, I don't know if you can see it um, on camera, it's kind of hard, but like this printed pattern on the opposite side, the uh, pineapple sunglasses, you can actually see it on this side. So if you wanted to use the yellow, you know, this uh, yellowy green paper just as a solid matting layer, you could you can actually see what's printed on the back. Um, so I don't I don't know how well you'll be able to really use. The opposite sides of these. Um, is that the case for all of them? It may really just depend on on the um, on the paper. So yeah, 
yeah, this one seems fine. It's not really subtle. So maybe it's just because that yellow is a solid, and so there isn't any other design that, that can kind of cover up um, what's printed on the back. But it is kind of nice that you get that option. Oh, this is too bad. I really love both of these patterns, and it's just too bad that it's on the same sheet. <laughs> I would I would really love to use both. Um, see, that's always a shame because I feel like if you're gonna have two two really nice patterns like this, the other side should be like a solid or you know a repeating pattern, like like this. Um, you know, I feel like they could have easily put the X's and O's maybe on the back of this and then put the solid, you know, as the back of that, for example. That way you don't have to pick and choose between two really pretty patterns. Um, I feel like it's an easier sacrifice to sacrifice a solid or a repeating pattern. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. <laughs> um, or, you know, yeah, these kind of um, sort of toppers or, or little elements that you can fussy cut out. And I'll be honest, I'm not great at fussy cutting, so in all likelihood, I won't, I won't use um, these unless they're something like really special and really easy. Although some of these like circular shapes, if you can find a die that's, you know, exactly the right size like the square circles like all your basic shapes then you know maybe it's worth um, trying to find a die that that will cut that out nice and cleanly but otherwise uh, I'm I'm not the best at fussy cutting so that would be hard for me um, but that's why I like that there's a pattern paper on the other side so you can just use that if you didn't want to fussy cut and it doesn't you know make waste of anything so that's kind of nice. You get a little paper um, pad. It is stapled in the center, so you do want to just be aware of that and kind of take those out carefully if you um, need to maximize your paper use. But what's really great is that these kits come with elements, um, tools that you can add to your craft stash. So there's a um, 4x6 embossing folder, and this one's kind of cool because it's a little bit wonky, so none of the lines are perfectly straight, which I think is kind of fun. Then this is, um, I don't know if they would consider this an outline die or a create a card. I'm not sure um, on the lingo, the Crafter's Companion lingo, but it's called uh, Peony Frame, and you get this really nice floral frame that's cut out. And it seems like it's entirely cut out, so you'll get this full, fully cut out frame but it looks like it might be fun to paper piece uh, the flower back in. And then there's two word dies. There's thanks and you, which I guess if you wanted uh, to have thank you, you can always just cut the S off of thanks. Um, and you could put thank you, or you could just use thanks by itself. Um, so that's kind of nice. And then the last thing is a um, stamp set. So this is a, um, I think they're called, uh, I think the designer is Annabelle Spensley. I hope I'm saying that right. Because um, I recognize the little gal. I don't have any uh, stamps in, in this line yet. But she's really cute. And she looks... Uh, easy enough to color in so <laughs> she's not super big so it's not a lot of coloring um, you know the spaces are it's rather open so I think that also makes it a little bit more fun to color because you can really practice your shading but it's not a huge area so um, you can kind of take it in in bits and pieces and then uh, lots of fun uh, sentiments and then a lot of fun little accessories um, like the balloons little purses that she can be carrying, things like that. Maybe she could be carrying the flowers. Well, I don't know with her hand in that position whether it'll look right, but um, but super fun. Um, a cute little stamp set. So yeah, these magazine kits are always, um, I think, a good um, bargain. It's kind of, I mean, they're sort of mini craft kits in and of themselves. And um, I always find the magazine really interesting too because you have a lot of inspiration if if all you did was just look at the 
look at the photos, I think, um, you know, if you're experienced, you can kind of take that as inspiration and go from there. But if you're kind of new to card making, they've written out all of the steps and and how you know you create you actually create that card. And in um, this magazine, it seems like you even have a um, kind of skill level that they've sort of assigned to each of these makes, and so you can sort of see at a glance, you know, is this going to be an easy one? And they even have the time it takes to make it. So, um, like this one is skill level three and it takes almost an hour to make this tissue box. So it's not all cards, it's, you know, 3D makes too. So that's kind of fun. You get a lot of different, um, ideas here, but also instructions. And then this is sort of an introduction to another line of, of items. So you've got, um, their elegant edibles line. So, um... You know, they're, it's a magazine. They're still advertising their own products, but as well, you get um, a lot of inspiration on how to use the things that have been, uh, that are included in the kit. And it's nice that they have cards, but they also have 3D makes too. So, so that's really cool. Um, so I always find the magazines really interesting just to have all of that um, inspiration and just as a jumping off point for, um, you know, using the kit. And of course, the all the tools and stuff, like the dies and stamp and bossing folder in this case, um, are things that you can use, you know, well past, like the once the papers run out and um, they just kind of add to your your crafty stash of supplies. So, um, so I enjoy these kits. They're, like I said, they kind of are like mini craft kits to me um so it's not as much as you would get in a sub box but um for you know um what to be included in one of these bundles it's like amazing value for money 